It's officially spring training for the Kansas City Royals. Today, the team holding its first full squad workout in 41 Action Sports. Anchor D Jackson live in Surprise, Arizona. So D, what's the feeling out there today as the squad gets back together? Well, to be quite honest with you, Mike, the feeling right now is burr chilly. It's a little bit uh, cool out here, cooler than we expected. It does get chilly f here from time to time. But nonetheless, these guys are excited to get out there. It gives you that goosebump type feeling when you know that baseball is just around the corner. But one of the biggest concerns is this infield. And now there's a big void at first base and everybody keeps asking, who's going to slide into that spot now that first base is open. Ned Yost has a solid infield after signing Alcides Escobar and having Chesler Cuthbert return at third. Cuthbert will also spend some time at first base along with former first rounder Hunter Dozier. Raul Mondesi can play both short and second base and Whit Merrifield has a slightly different mentality this year. After not making the opening day roster last year, he worked his way into the Royal starting lineup, which is a real confidence boost going into this year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, a little more, uh, I don't know if relax is the right word, but uh, a, little, a little less stress in the last break. You know, more worried about what I need to do to get my body, you know, ready for the season, uh, get my timing right, and get all those game reps in and get ready for the season as opposed to worrying about, uh, you know, competing for a job and making a team. And that obviously takes a lot of stress and pressure off of him. Coming up tonight at 10, we're going to look at this outfield and who's going to be playing one of the prime positions. There's a lot of names being floated around as the next center fielder. Live in Surprise, Arizona, D. Jackson, 41 Action News.